Right guys, Gaft is back and I've had a few people wanting a tutorial on how to do the furrow shuffle. Don't know if I've ever done one, so we might as well do one now. Right, first things first, you need a decent deck of cards. This is not going to work with your cheap paper dollar cards or your cheap Chinese knockoff bicycle cards. It's not going to work. You need a decent deck of cards. Bicycle Waddington's work, um, tally hose, any decent deck. And when I mean a decent deck, I don't mean an expensive deck, just a decent deck of cards. And another thing, it's much easier to do a furrow shuffle if you've got an older deck. I don't mean they don't want to be too scruffy looking, but they just need to be sort of worn in and a little bit more supple. And I'll show you how I do mine. You're going to start out, This is. I'm just going to show you exactly how I do my furrow shuffle. I've got my index finger pushed against the bottom of the deck, my thumb on the one side and a couple of fingers on the other side and maybe this little finger on the bottom. I'm then going to split the pack roughly in half, doesn't matter. Tap the tops of the cards just so you get these sort of level and square. I'm applying a bit of pressure with my finger so I'm keeping all these cards as a nice tight block and likewise this packet in my hand which is thumb on the one side, couple of fingers on the side and two on the bottom is also in a nice tight packet. I'm then going to place them one on top of the other and you, what I tend to do is lift up a small amount on this back edge, tilting it back a tiny bit and they just go. You are going to do a little bit of this literally just a fraction of movement so you're going to put them on you're going to lift them up on this back edge this is exactly how I do it, it might not be how you want to do it tilt them a little bit forward talking a degree and just they will just go together now when I've done tricks in the past, as long as the furrow shuffle in the mid range of the deck is perfect, most of the tricks are going to work. I do actually find it hard to get a perfect furrow shuffle just on the start of the pack. It's not so difficult on the end where the furrow finishes, but at the start, it's always a bit of a pain. So you need a decent packet of cards. These two packets need to be square and this block is compressed so it's all staying together, likewise this one. And they will just go together. A lot of people I've seen, they do furrow shuffles like they'll split this in half and they go from the bottom up. Now I can just about do it, but look how scruffy that is. That to me just feels completely alien. So I want to split it from the top and take it in from the top and they just go. Now this is one of those little knacky moves that once you get it you've got it. It's just like muscle memory like most things. But it does help if you've got a good deck and a deck which is worn in. So square the top off, tilt back a little bit, tiny bit, tilt forward a little bit and you will notice that these front bits they just go together look, with a little bit of movement so you've also got a little bit of movement like this way just sort of helping them scissor in together and they will just go like i say you can't do this with cheap knockoff cards they need to be decent decent sort of deck my lights having a bit of a joby it keeps flashing on and off and you will get it what is going on with this light now I hope this is helpful to some people. Apply and press with your finger here. So this packet is tight. This packet is also tight. You're going to go in, tilt back, tilt this way, a little bit of a movement and they will just merge together. So that is Gaffer's Borrow Shuffle Tutorial. Let me know if this has been helpful let me know if it hasn't been helpful, whatever. So just make sure to give me a thumbs up, guys. That really does help with the algorithm, apparently. I'm just saying what I've heard. And uh, come back tomorrow for another card trick.
Cheers.